Howdy folks, West Kentucky Outdoors here. Today is the third official day of frog season. Yesterday I did kill a bunch of frogs, and I didn't get any of that on camera, not even skinning them. Today I've only got two frogs, and I'm hoping to get at least one of them that I kill on camera. I'm not sure. So I've got my flashlight, I got this gig. The last frog, which was just like a minute ago, broke the tip off my other gig head. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. There, so I had to put this one on. This one should be a little bit better. The other one only had two. This one's got five spears on it, five little barbs on it. And we're just hoping to kill some frogs. And I'm trying to be quiet because if I'm not, I might scare them away. I hear one right about here. I'm hoping you guys can hear, see this. I don't care if it's a big one or a little one. I just want to kill another one. This is so fun. I love killing frogs. Especially if you know me personally. Or if, well, especially if you go to my school. You will understand that science teachers do not appreciate what I'm doing right now but frog legs taste too good to care about science teachers. I'm looking for one. Is that one? I found one. I'm not sure if you guys can see him. Jeez, he's albino. Or he's got something growing on him. See that white stuff right there? That's the frog. I'm not sure if it's alive. I'm going to try to gig him, though. That sucker's one of the ones that I killed last time. He ain't got no legs. I thought that sucker was a freaking... That's the freaking frog I killed last... I didn't even dump him over here. I dumped him back... I just gigged a frog that I've gigged before. He didn't have any legs. His legs are now in my freezer. He's got mold all over him. Hope I didn't get that crap on my gig. Well, I did get one frog gigged on camera. That was weird. I'm not sure if he's still alive or not. He shouldn't be. Like... I know one of the frogs that I gigged that got off is dead. He got off, he was alive, and now he's dead. So one of them that I've actually should 100% be dead is now alive. I'm so confused. Oh, I gotta see if I get that crap on my gig. Did I? No, it's fine. I gigged one over here. I'm not sure if there's one more. I hear some. There's one way back there. I gigged a frog that's been gigged before. That's just not even right. I mean, he was still alive. He'd crawled up onto land with no legs. That is weird. Like, literally, I just start off. First frog I see already, like, doesn't have legs. Oh, crap, I hear a coyote. I hear it's not like the howling that you expect from a coyote. Guys that don't know what a coyote sounds like, you expect them to howl. That's not 100% what they do. Because sometimes they make a little crying noise. They almost sound like kids crying. It's weird. It's not because they're hurt or injured or anything. It's simply because that's how they communicate, is by crying. I mean, to be honest, they're not that different from your average hyena. 
they're pretty the same. I don't know if I'm going to get any gigs on camera besides that one. Didn't even freaking have legs. Wasn't even worth keeping. No meat on the sucker. Is that a frog or turd? I think it's just a turd. I ain't seeing any more. I hear one. Just so you know, I don't only gig frogs. Yesterday, I killed seven but one of them wasn't gigged. One of them was um, one of them was shot. I shot him with a BB gun, put him right out. Like these suckers, they with a gig you expect that to kill them. You got five little needles going through them. The mosquitoes you got five little. needles going through them should cause them to bleed out. I hear something. I see something that may or may not be a frog. My phone just did something weird. I think I got a new notif a notification. Yeah, my battery level is at 15%. That's nice. So, y'all don't have much to see. Yeah, I, uh, oh, jeez. That's it, this has been West Kentucky Outdoors. I hear one right next to me. He's under this, it seems. I don't know exactly where he's at. I'm going to go over to this side. Maybe I'll get a live one on camera, not just one that's been freaking gigged before. That's not even cool. That's just not cool, man. I mean, he had just came up, too. He wasn't there the last time I looked at him. Looked over there. So, he must have still been alive. I mean, he's right here. Oh, I don't see any. This is what frog gigging is. Looking around with a flashlight, trying to see if you can find any frogs. You see the woods over there? It's not woods, it's just trees that surround my pond. I've not gigged anything except for a dead frog with this gig head. I think there might be one over here. I'm going to look at that guy again. Is he, is he alive? He's alive because he moved. He moved his head back up. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm not sure. I think that's a frog. No, it's not. I thought that was, those leaves were a frog. I'm looking hard. I don't want to end tonight with just two frogs. I'm not seeing anything. Legitimately, I butchered that. Usually, I can say that no problem. I don't know. I guess we're just gonna have to clean two frogs, which that will be on camera too. Because, man, who cares? It's not like this is something that's inappropriate for people. This is obviously a lifestyle right here. Like, literally, you're saying, not suitable for anyone under the age of 18 because of death and stuff. Well, I'm under the age of 13, and I'm doing it. Yeah, this is what that one frog did to my other gig head. crossed it my old cat I haven't seen her in forever since the video that I said I found my old cat well she is right there I don't know if you can see her sassy 
Yep, that's her. She's a little bobcat. My pet bobcat. Hi. Well, part bobcat, mostly bobcat. You can tell because of her tail. You like frogs? Okay. Anyways, I got that gun out. Not to shoot the cat. I would not shoot her. She probably doesn't even recognize me. I've got that to kill the frogs. Which is hard. The hard part is doing this one-handed. Sassy. Hey, come here. Come here. Look. There. Yeah. You, hey, I'm not hurting you. Kitty cat. Yeah. Okay. Enough with this. It's time to kill, kill and clean some frogs. You guys didn't get to see the frogs I killed. Well, they're not dead yet. Don't comment below. Oh, these animals are suffering. Because they're not, because they're animals and they don't freaking care. They didn't make any noises, which means they weren't hurt in any way. They couldn't feel it. I don't know which one this is. Which one are you? Whatever he is, guts are coming out. Okay, maybe that is not suitable for most people. If you have, if you're on my Instagram, you probably have seen where I had one of these things in my mouth they do not taste good and then yeah, this is where I keep the frogs and it's my cleaning table okay now comes the hard part oh this sucker stinks literally stinks okay One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, here's the frog. Yeah, I gigged him good. He ain't getting away. And then I'm not gonna. I'll, I'll just shoot him off camera. The one that I killed. Oh, he's gonna get away. Oh, he is gonna get away. Oh, no, he's not. Not anymore, he's not. He dead. He dead, frog. You can tell he's dead because of what he's doing with his mouth. He's opening it. Oh, yeah, that hit him good. That's blood right there. <laughs> oh, wow. Mmm. It's good. Now, we're gonna try to keep all the not safe things because they even make me feel bad like the excessive bleeding in the guts which I'm attempting right now to stuff in the body because that's not good he's dead now of course oh gosh that's a lot of blood yeah you guys are lucky you don't have to see this that is a lot of freaking blood okay and what you know what it don't matter it's a freaking frog show it on camera this is how we take it. I bend this leg back. I take this. There's a knife. Oh, wow. That's on my leg. Oh, goodness. I'm going to move back from the camera so it doesn't get on the camera. I take it, and I just start chopping that leg off. And then you get to the bone. I take my hand. Usually... That's not the bone I wanted to break. Usually I can just take my hand and break it. Apparently not now. Weird. This one's got some good legs on him though. I'll show y'all what we call good legs. I had one last year. He had some monster legs on him. He had some chicken legs. Matter of fact, he's about the size of this one. This frog does not smell good. Usually they smell a lot better than this. This one reminds me of rotting vanilla, if you want to know what it smells like. I think I might have popped a gut on him, 
which is not good in case you're wondering it may means that the meat main the meat may not be good to eat which is bad I'm trying to freaking chop his legs off it's so hard there we go this is what we consider a chicken leg on a frog good leg we're gonna throw him up there oh shoot up. Okay, throw him up there. My hands are bloody. Then we do that to this leg, which is a little bit harder because you don't have another leg to hold on to. But it's still doable. Oh, wow, that really... I hear that. My... jeez. I think I've almost ruined the meat on this. Huh. Frog with no legs, definitely dead. And leg. Before I take the skin off that, I want to just... Well, actually, I'm going to do that on camera. I'm not going to do the other frog on camera, though. This is the leg. This is how we get the skin off. Take your pliers, grab the skin, just like that. Grab the skin with your pliers. Take it. Make sure the skin's separated from the meat to the point where you're not ripping the meat whenever you're trying to get the skin off. There we go. Separate from the meat. Whew. Oh my gosh, this one's got some thick skin. Well, that worked. Ripped it off perfectly. And then what you do is I just take this and chop the leg off actually first this is mostly bone so I take these war pliers here and break that off break this bone and then take my knife that's when you want your knife and then chop it open open and there you go this is this this thing's got some meat on him right here. I don't know if you can see this, but that is some meat right there. And then I'm going to do the other frog leg. I mean, these things taste amazing. I was hoping that I could maybe get a frog on camera, which is something... No way. That is impossible. No. That is awesome. This is a pellet from a from my gun. I'm I wasn't shooting pellets today, I was shooting BBs. This is from last year. This pellet is from last year. I shot this frog in the leg last year. And it just it's it, his skin just grew right over it. Wow. That is amazing. So many weird things are happening today with these frogs. I have, I had no, I shot a frog last year and I missed. Well, I didn't necessarily miss. I hit him, but he got away. Now, I have that frog in my hands. He's actually the one that was really hard to kill yesterday. Wow, that is amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, my phone just did something weird. I don't know what it did. My battery's power is bad. But then here's another bit of juicy frog right here. Juicy frog leg. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. I don't, need, I, don't, I don't have any words. This frog has been through so much. That's amazing. He gave me back a pellet, which is actually still totally usable. 
almost. I mean, it'll go through stuff. Probably won't shoot accurately, but that's cool. So, anyways, this has been West Kentucky Outdoors. We're just frog gigging. I gigged a frog that didn't have legs. And then I gigged a frog that had a pellet in his leg. Okay, but just here's here's the here's the juicy legs. Just look. Well, bye. And before I leave this video off, no, I'm not just gonna throw these frogs out in a trash can or anything. I'm actually gonna throw them back in my pond so that the fish can eat them. Because I don't want to this these frogs stinking up everything. And attracting ants, which I've done before. I'm going to throw them in the pond where the fish can eat them. And I can guarantee you they will eat them. Matter of fact, I'm going to stick a hook through one of them. Because they ate. Okay, well, they're going to be bait now. Okay, well, bye.